Welcome to Kaleidoscope, our arts and entertainment program on 88.5 FM WFCF. I'm your host for Kaleidoscope, Don Runk, and on this, our 100th Kaleidoscope show, we welcome wow. author, illustrator, motivational speaker, and I'm sure a few titles that I have left out, <laughs> Linda M. Brandt, author, illustrator of Henry's Life as a Tulip Bulb, soon to be released in its third printing by Innovo Publishing. Welcome, Linda. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for Don. joining us. Um, well, I guess what what we need to uh, to, to start off with is uh, okay. How did this come to be? How well, did we How did we get on this track about Henry? <laughs> Actually, Henry is the foreshadowing of my whole life. Except I didn't know that at the time that I wrote. Henry, which was initially written in 1983 for a little TV production. I was art director of a TV station up in Ohio. They asked me to write a little production for a puppet show. And I wrote Henry's Life as a Tulip Bulb or Developing an Attitude of Gratitude, not knowing how Henry was going to evolve and involve me. And so how did you choose the the tulip bulb as the the force? I was actually living in Ohio at the time and was planting tulips and started to think about what a little tulip bulb goes through to become the flower. Oh. And so that became the whole portion of the Henry book, which has now been written for animation as well. Oh, my goodness. And then, and then the name Henry... The name Henry, I never, never knew until just a few months ago. And people all along the way kept asking me, where did the name Henry come from? And I would just say, I don't know. I don't even know a Henry. (laughs) So just a few months ago, I decided after all these years to ask God, (laughs) where did the name Henry come from? And he said, what are the first two letters of Henry's name? And I went, H-E, and I went, oh, oh. I get it. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, in in the book, it, it, it's subtitled Developing an Attitude of Gratitude. Right. Let's talk about that a minute. An attitude of gratitude, I've always believed, is what changes our heart and our mind into being thankful, and it changes our world around us. And there are a lot of scientific studies now that are finding that it can even, an attitude of gratitude, change the cell, the molecular cell structure in a person's brain, in their body, in how they receive things. It's pretty interesting study. Okay. And, 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 and when did you first realize you wanted to be a writer and an artist? And did this all develop out of that? I was four years old. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I was actually um, grew up in a, a family of artists, except I guess I was the first one to do it professionally. My parents were both working, and my father nurtured the field of nature with us, actually by breeding roses for Jackson Perkins, and my mother nurtured the arts in us, even though she wasn't painting at that time. I guess she was pretty busy with six of us kids (laughs) and working full-time. Oh, there you go. So we had one big room in our home that had nothing but cupboards of paints and papers and all kinds of clays and anything that we wanted to. Is it right on the wall? My brother did. (laughs) My brother actually did. And he sold his first painting at six years old. Oh, my. (laughs) It's pretty interesting. (laughs) He painted a whole train scene on the wall in that room. And when my parents later in life moved their bedroom into that room, they decided not to paint over that wall. Oh, cool. And it meant a lot to my brother, even years to come, how he would mention he was so grateful that they thought enough of his work that they didn't paint over it. At six years old? At six years old, he sold his first painting. So he supported you until you got... Well, at (laughs) night, not really. At 19, well, there were 10 years between us. At 19, I went professional as a political cartoonist. I started writing when I was in my, I guess, seven or eight years old. 
And because being the oldest of six children, it was my job to entertain the rest of the kids. So I would write little stories and make up little puppet shows. And that's where the writing started. Yeah. And, and so the, the family uh, was your test audience. Yes, they were. <laughs> and they weren't too easy. Yeah. My speaking skills didn't come till later on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my first speaking part in high school, I spoke about the effects of LSD. And I was so afraid that I blacked out. Oh. Oh and my. Um, oh my. my class thought I was doing a demonstration of somebody <laughs> on that. And uh, so they laughed until I didn't come up off the floor. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I decided then and there I was going to overcome my fear of speaking and became the debate captain. Oh, there you go. And then later on joined Toastmasters, which is an awesome international professional speaking club. And then uh, let's see. Uh, how about the, the most surprising thing that's happened from Henry? The most surprising thing is that eight years ago, I was diagnosed with an extremely rare brain tumor. Oh, and um, after a 10 and a half hour surgery and the removal of nearly 25% of my brain, I developed spinal meningitis and goodness. had a death experience. Jeez. And I had lost my son two years previously, and he was with me in that death experience. A&E Network actually filmed my story. It was on... Uh, eight times in April. Oh, my goodness. So it was pretty interesting. One of the reasons that I'm still here is because of Henry. I guess And so. the book didn't come into print till 2006, which was two years after the surgery. And I literally, with the first printing, self-published and took out bags of books on my walker and... <sighs> sold my books. Who could deny a woman on a walker? I guess. <laughs> you know, but um, I did that and sold out in 10 months. So wow. pretty, pretty exciting. And, and now, and now is there a sequel to yes, Henry? This is the first of eight in the series. And he's been written now for animation. We've filmed the storyboards already. And I'm in negotiations with some producers in Hollywood. So things are really exciting. And Novo Publisher, which is my publisher, has a full production studio. So they're getting involved with this now, too. Oh. And it's very exciting. I've got very what's, exciting. It, what's called the Henry A. Team, which is a board <laughs> of 10 people, mostly based in West Palm Beach. And uh, I've got on that board casting agents and a screenwriter and a voiceover student. Uh, I've got an actress. And it's just been amazing that the people that God has just brought together to make this all happen. Okay. Now, and so how many books are you working on? Right now, I'm working on a total of 16 books. My, oh my autobiography, goodness. which is the prelude to a movie that's been written about me, is called Throw Jonah from the Boat, and that's scheduled to be released February 3rd. And that's the autobiography. Yes. And that's through Inovo as well. Correct. Okay. And now this uh, the, the screenwriting, that's taking place. Is the book finished? Yes, the, the, book, the book is finished. And in fact, I was earlier this morning with my publisher speaking to them about some of the illustrations. It's fully illustrated as well. And you did all the illustrations? Yes. Wow. Yes. And then I understand it's uh, pretty exciting that uh, they're talking about somebody pretty famous to play you. Yeah. This, this. Yeah. Casting agents are leaning towards uh, somebody really, I'm really excited about it. Oh she, my goodness. she hasn't said yes yet, but uh -huh. uh, right. we have very similar backgrounds. And she, I can tell you this, that she is a beautiful actress. I'm not saying that I'm a beautiful actress, but uh, she's an artist and um, she's deeply spiritual in her, her philosophies and things. And um, it'd be very exciting if she would take oh, the that, part. Wow. That, yeah, that's pretty great. And uh, so, and, and you're in touch with your readers, from what I understand, yes. because I follow very you on much, Facebook yes. and, you know, that right. type of thing. So what, what do you hear from them? Um, 
what I hear from them is we don't always comment every day, Linda, but we, we read what you're writing every day. And people are so excited about the book, about the animation. There is something about Henry that just cr- kind of creeps into your life. And he is so sincere and loving. And he's been catching like on like wildflower all around fire. I'm sorry, not wildflower. <laughs> um, fire all around the world. We're actually going into the Netherlands this spring with the Dutch translation of Henry's Life as a Tulip Bulb. So we're really excited about that. So the future of Henry looks good. Yes, very, (laughs) very good. Um, Books the only thing that you illustrate? I illustrate books. I do paintings. I have illustrated poetry. Um, Anything I can draw to. (laughs) I've done backdrops for television. It's pretty, it's, art's been my life. Uh, and then we understand you do public speaking, motivational Correct. speaking. Yes, yeah. and I speak about de- the development of an attitude of gratitude within your own life and how you can develop that. All right. Well, let's see. What have we forgotten to cover? Is there anything? <laughs> I mean, fortunately, she supplied me with about a thousand questions. And, <laughs> and it's it's wonderful and, and to go through what you've gone through and to be where you are and you know, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank and, you so uh, much. And, you know, it would be cool to see this movie. Yes. Yes, <laughs> it, it will be very cool. Um, uh, let's let's remind everybody that um, you can follow Linda and Henry at henrythetulipbulb.com. Visit her blog at Linda M. Brandt. Now, that's L-I-N-D-A-M-B-R-A-N-D-T dot wordpress.com and read Henry's Daily Attitude of Gratitude at henrythetulipbulb.wordpress.com and you're on YouTube and you're on Facebook yes and and Twitter Twitter (laughs) and is there any place we've forgotten where you're not Mm, no I think that pretty well covers it but we do a lot of public appearances with Henry Actually, the big Henry oh, okay. travels with me from time to time. So, Oh, that's right. I've seen his picture there, yeah. too. All right. Well, thank you for being our guest. Thank you so much. And thank you, our listeners, of course, for being here uh, for our 100th episode of wow. Kaleidoscope. And, of course, we'll be off next week for the holidays, but back on January 10th. We hope you'll join us right here on Kaleidoscope on 88.5 FM WFCF. The book is available in hardback, paperback, and ebook editions and can be purchased at inovopublishing.com, online retailers, and fine bookstores worldwide. For more information on the book, contact Inovo Publishing or go online at inovopublishing.com.